Grandma, it's a rainy day in Georgia. It is, y'all. It is a rainy day in Georgia. Good morning. I'm Rose from Grandma Rose's Open Pantry. And I am uh, crushing some garlic. I've got about six garlic cloves. Uh, and then I'm going to chop it real fine. I've already peeled it. So um, we are going... I'm going to show you how I make my homemade spaghetti sauce this morning. Um, you can use fresh garlic. You can use minced garlic. You can use garlic powder. But fresh is always better when you have it. Now, if you don't have it and you have minced garlic, use that. If you don't have minced garlic and you have garlic powder, use that. I use them all. It's just according to what I'm making. But when I do an Italian dish like spaghetti, lasagna, uh, something like that, I always I try to use the fresh. I think it has a little bit more garlic flavor. And I don't try to chop mine up just really, really fine. I could put it in my little processor I've got and, and make it almost like mush, but I don't want to do that. I'm just... I just want to leave mine uh, in just, just diced up real fine. Okay. Now that was about seven cloves of garlic. They were small cloves though. So if yours are bigger, I would do probably four or five. All right. Now I've got some onion already chopped up here. But I this was a medium sized onion. I cut it in half. Then I cut it crossways twice. Because I want my onion diced up pretty finely. So, all right. I always like to show you how I prep some of my things because I have new subscribers. And, you know, they don't always, and some of them are young, and they don't always know how to do things uh, the best way. Of course, now with food processors and blenders and choppers and <clears throat> a lot of people use those but I still like I just there's something about prepping my own food with my hands it's just it's just something I like to do because I love to cook and a lot of you out there are the same way okay now today I am going to be using my homemade tomatoes my home canned tomatoes that we grew in the garden last year um i do tomato soup i do uh basil tomato soup now i can all of this i can taco sauce marinara sauce just tomatoes italian tomatoes i can all kinds of things with the tomatoes that we grow in the garden uh, so today I'm going to be using my Italian tomatoes that I can. So honey, if you'll come around here, I've already got my meat browned right here and I've got some onions in it. Uh, and I already browned that and it's half venison. So I didn't have, it didn't have any uh, grease in it because venison is so lean and it's so healthy. Uh, and my ground beef was good ground beef, so I didn't have to, uh, I didn't have to drain any grease at all. You can see, I mean, there's none in there. So, all and your right. Italian tomatoes already have a lot of seasoning in them. They do, it. but now this, this little container is a container of diced tomatoes. They're canned diced tomatoes that I bought in the store. So I need to use them. So I'm going to use them today along with my you can see right there i can these 728 of 23 and it's my italian tomatoes now in here i already have garlic i have basil i have uh italian seasoning oh uh, i don't think i, I don't have onions <clears throat> i didn't put onions in these but i it is already an italian blend y'all hear that pop <laughs> okay so this is a quart of my italian 
tomatoes. Now to this, I'm going to add probably, uh, because there was no onions in my uh, tomatoes. This is about a half a cup. I'm saving this a little bit for something else. That's about a half a cup of onions, and I've got it on medium high. Now, if you want peppers, like green peppers, uh, sweet red, yellow, orange peppers, hot peppers, jalapenos, you can put it in yours, but there's a big piece of onion that I want to get out. Uh, you can put it in yours, but we don't really like the taste of pepper in spaghetti sauce for some reason. I like it. Roy does especially like it. All right. Now, to this, I am going to add one tablespoon. Even though I already have some seasonings in my canned tomatoes, I'm still going to add one tablespoon of Italian seasoning. And I'm going to add one tablespoon of basil. I'm going to taste of it. I put salt in my tomatoes when I can them. So I'm going to taste of it and see uh, if I need to add any more salt. I am going to add a little bit of pepper, not much. Maybe a fourth of a teaspoon of pepper. Okay. I really need to let this cook about 10 or 15 minutes. Now, I've got to cook it until it thickens. And it's according to how... Uh, how your tomatoes are, how thick your tomatoes are, as to how long you're going to have to cook it. So, now I know a lot of y'all just go to the store, grab a jar of uh, spaghetti sauce, and that's great. I do the same thing. I have several jars in my pantry when I'm in a hurry or uh, I want to do it quickly. So, uh, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But this way, I control what's in mine. I know the ingredients. I know what I put in it. It's healthy. Uh, it doesn't have, because when you read the ingredients, it'll have 20 or 30 ingredients in a box or a jar of something you buy. Well, I like cleaner eating than that, so I usually, I try to make my own. And that way, I know exactly what's in it. All right, I'm going to taste this. And I already tell you, it looks good. Perfect. The fresh tomatoes that I grow, <clears throat> this has a little sweetness to it, where that you buy in the jar, unless it has added sugar in it. And you have to really check your labels, because if you try to be sugar-free, like we do most of the time, you have to check your la la uh, labels, because a lot of them have added sugars. Now, it is going to have sugar, but it's natural sugar. If what you're looking for on that label is zero sugar added. Or if you uh, if you allow yourself two grams of sugar in in something, then I when I check a label, I do not want anything that has over two grams of added sugar. And I try to find the ones that have zero sugar. So and I know this one has zero sugar added. The tomatoes have their own natural sugar, but, you know, that's everything. Everything has that. So. Well, the grams of sugar is always per serving, too. Yes, it is so per serving. So that's a lot of, lot of sugar. Two and grams per serving. And a serving may be a half a cup. Right. And you may want to put a cup on your spaghetti. So you've got four grams of sugar in just one plate of spaghetti. So that's just something you, you need to watch. And... uh so, and if you don't try to be sugar-free, you go for it. <laughs> Whatever what you want to do, you do. That's fine. But I'm telling you, even if you're sugar-free, this is delicious. And you can make your own. On my channel, I have a video on how I canned my Italian tomatoes, how I canned my taco sauce, how I canned my marinara. You just go to Grandma Rose's Open Pantry, type in... Uh, Canned Italian tomatoes or canned tomatoes, canned taco sauce, and it should pull it up. And if it doesn't, just contact me and I'll I'll try to help you with it. So, all right. 
we are, uh, I'm just going to let this cook. It's probably going to take 30 minutes for it to cook down to be as thick as I want it. I'm making Roy's, uh, if I can find it. Oh, here it is. I'm making two kinds of spaghetti today. I'm making Roy's out of black soybeans. Uh, it has 25 grams of protein in, and it's plant-based. You can get green, you can get a uh, white or well off white, or you can get the black. The black is what I happen to have today. So I'm making his out of this and I'm making Mike a big pot. He's not gluten free or anything. So his is just regular spaghetti. So I'm going to be making two different kinds today. Well, but, the, the, the soybean spaghetti does not have the carbs. That's the reason I eat it. Right, right. And I forgot my, I forgot my uh, garlic. So now we have everything in here, and I'm just going to let this cook. And when it gets done, we're going to come back, and I'm going to taste of it. I'm going to let Roy taste of it. And uh, But this is how simple it is to make your own spaghetti sauce. So see you back in a little bit. Hey, tell them how good those tarts were the other day, the apple pies. The apple pie egg Tell them rolls. go back and look oh. at that video. <laughs> Y'all, I think it was, what, Kale was here Tuesday. We did apple pie egg rolls. Go back to my last bit, to my video Tuesday, apple pie egg rolls. Y'all watch it. And make some. I'm and use dried you. apples. Uh, dried they, apples make a world of difference. They are delicious. Go back, check that video out. So it, it was put on Tuesday. So, all right, back, be back in just a few minutes. Come right here. Okay, y'all. See my, this is my homemade spaghetti sauce right here. Now, it's chunky. You can buy chunky in the jar, but if you don't want yours chunky, I just take my little immersion blender here, and I will I will leave some chunks in it, but most of it I'm gonna make it smooth. Well, in your homemade, you had a little cherry tomatoes, and that's I did. There's one right. Over it. You just got it. Mm -hmm. And uh, but I like I like it. Cherry tomatoes make a delicious sauce. They do. Yes. And when I'm when I'm canning my little cherry tomatoes, I do not peel them. I do not peel them because when I do them with this immersion blender, it gets all of that. All Warning, right. make sure your immersion blender is below. <laughs> it's it's down because let me tell you something. If you got it on and you lift it up, this whole kitchen is or gonna, it'll is come gonna through, have through those little holes there. And it, it, I was right. I was worried about the level of your. Uh, Sauce. That's right. You know, and, but right. you kept it on. No, no, I knew it was okay. All right, y'all. I'm not going to show you how I cook my noodles. I've already cooked my meat. My focus today was on homemade spaghetti sauce. So this is our homemade spaghetti sauce. You want a taste of it, honey? Oh yeah. I'm gonna get you a little bowl. Oh yeah. And let I'm gonna let Roy taste of it for y'all. He hasn't been on camera in a while. He's been working outside. So it's garden time. He's trying to get our pillar ready. So if you will hand me that, then uh, okay. And he's pretty this morning. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tell me if it's as good as the jar. Oh, that that is. Multilicious. Mm -hmm. He and I could put it in a cup and drink it. We love it. Mm -hmm. Food feeds the family. Family feeds the heart. God feeds the soul. Mm. Make you some homemade spaghetti sauce. Mm. Share this video. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell. Give me a thumbs up. And uh, mm. we'll see y'all next time. I don't. I don't need the spaghetti. <laughs> Just this is tomato soup. Boy, this is delicious.